everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have a Miracle Box Mini World. Just take a look at this. I am super excited because this is brand new. So this looks very much like a Polly Pocket. It's a little bit bigger than a Polly Pocket but it does have everything shrunk down. So here we have a cheapy ladybug and we also have Stormy Weather, one of the first villains in the show. And this playset here is an amusement park. So here we have a Ferris wheel, it seats four people, and down here we have some bumper cars. And so this set is called Amusement Park Rides and the Rescue. Here in the back it shows you all the different features. We have a spinning Ferris wheel, we have a hidden Akuma, there is a ticket booth, there's also an ice stone trap, the carousel spins, and of course the whole thing closes up into a miracle box. So I am super excited. Let's go ahead and get this out of packaging. All right, so let's start with our characters. So here is Ladybug. She looks so, so cute. So she is super tiny. This is a chibi form. So she has a really big head and a really tiny body. In addition, we also have Stormy Weather. Here she is looking super cool. Okay, and let's look at the playset. So here on one side, we have the carousel. These actually look a lot like bumper cars, but because they go in circles, this is more of a carousel. And it's super cute. They're egg-shaped, and they have little spots on them like Ladybug. And so each of these seats has a little nub on it. So that means we can put these figures on it. And this way, they won't fall off when you spin it. This is super cool. Look at them ride the carousel. There's also a few more nubs here on the pathway and also on the stairs. So this set of stairs is for the Ferris wheel. So here we can put the ladybug here. She's waiting for the Ferris wheel. Here is the Ferris wheel. So this looks so cool. It has room for four passengers. And of course, they all have the old nub there. So we can put our passengers on here. And now Lady Wi-Fi and Ladybug are riding the Ferris wheel. Oh my goodness, this looks fun! Here in the middle of the Ferris wheel is a secret door. So if you open it, look, there's an Akuma! On the back side over here, we have this thing that flips up and it turns into a ticket booth. Ladybug can be here to sell tickets. And over here on this side, here is a little water fountain that flips up. And over here is a park. So let's put Ladybug here in the park. Let's put Stormy Weather over here. And Stormy Weather can use the water here to throw an ice capsule over Ladybug to try to capture her. Oh no! What is Ladybug going to do? I think she can use her powers to break out of the ice. And once you're done playing, all we have to do is fold everything down like this. And this whole thing closes. Here's a lock. It looks just like a little ticket. And here is the top of the box. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this. What a pretty design. Look at this. So, so cool. This set is called Boulangerie Cakes in a Crush, and I was able to get it on Amazon. But I believe Target also sells it. Here in the back are all the things that this playset does. So the oven opens. We have a spinning cake. We can lift stairs to see Kwame. The tabletop flips. There's a menu board. The register actually opens. There is a bread basket. And of course, the entire playset closes up into a miracle box. Actually, no, this is not a miracle box. It closes up into a box that has the symbols TNS on it, which is the logo of the bakery. We also get two characters. We get Marinette and Adrian. Alright, so here's the playset and let's start with the figures. So these figures are chibi style, so that means they have a large head and a small body. So here is Marinette. Just take a look at her big eyes and she has a little smile. Her hair is blue and tied into pigtails and her outfit is her regular outfit. So that is a white shirt with a blue shirt over it, pink pants, and pink shoes. 
and she has these little holes on the bottom of her feet so that she can be placed on certain part of the playset. Our next figure here is Adrian. So Adrian has really big green eyes, blonde hair, and he is wearing his regular outfit also, which is a black t-shirt with a white shirt over it, some jeans, and orange shoes. These characters are so cute together. All right, and here is the playset. So here is the top side of the lid. Over here we have a little shelf space where in the back you can see lots of desserts. Over here is more shelf space or you can also have your figure stand there. So these are tall enough for you to place your figures like that. And here is a three-tiered cake. And look, it spins super fun you can't actually take it off so it just sits there and it spins down here we have the bread level so here is a shelf with lots of bread and here's an oven with a door that opens so if you have little miniature foods you can put that into the oven and of course it's also tall enough for the figures to stand in this looks super cute Okay, so now we are on the bottom level and take a look at this. So this is kind of the storefront. We have a display full of treats here. We got some cakes. We got some cakes in different sizes. Ooh. And there is a little step here with a little nub so we can put Marinette here. And this time she won't fall. That's super cute. Here is a cash register and a little bread basket and a little counter space. And over here is a menu and you can lift it up. So that way when the shop is open, you lift it up. And then when you're done and closing the shop, we'll push it back down. And over here is a set of stairs with three nubs. And we can lift this and when you do, we see Tiki down there. This is just a sticker, but it's really cute that they hid a Kwame under the stairs. And because there's more nubs, now we can put Adrian over here. Just like that. It's too bad they didn't put any nubs up here on the top side. And we also got some accessories. So over here is a little table and it's set up with two forks and a piece of cake. And we can flip this. Over here are two macaroons. And we also got, I think this is bread. Oh my goodness, this is super cute. I think these are chocolate flavored breads or little um, danishes. But it goes right here in the basket. I love these details. And let's just take a closer look at the flooring here because it's so pretty. So we get these little flower designs, but over here, there is a yo-yo. So this one is a yo-yo design with a nub so that we can have someone stand here. And we have additional nubs here on the floor so that when you put the table in the center, we can have other individuals stand. This is so, so cute. So let's go ahead and close it up. Let's put everything back. Oh, I think one more thing. The uh, cash register also opens, so it's a little bit hard, but you can slide your nails down here and you can open the cash register. I love these details. Okay, let's close it up. The little uh, lock here is actually a croissant. That is adorable. And on top, this is actually the symbol for the bakery, T and S which are the initials for Marinette's parents. Do you know what they are? If you said Tom and Sabine, you're right. And so as a comparison, if you have both playset, it looks like this. So the case is the same shape. The outside uh, design is the same, but the inside symbols are different. And I actually didn't notice this from last time, but this is a little Ferris wheel. And here on the side, this one's a croissant, and this one is a fare ticket. Okay, so let's go ahead and put everyone in place. Here's Marinette manning the cash register. Adrian is helping out. Here is Stormy Weather. She came in for some breakfast. 
and here is Ladybug taking a look at the display of goodies. This is so fun. I hope they come out with many more sets and many more characters. I think these characters would work really well in blind capsules. What do you think? So one difference between these two play sets is that for the bakery, it's meant to be played this way where this uh, top lid is flipped up so that you can access the top levels over here. And for this one, this play set is meant to be played fully open because there is a grassy field over here and then a water spout and a little ticket booth over here. So I think that's kind of cool because then you can place them together like this. And if there are other sets because of the hexagon shape, we can just kind of stick them all together. All right, everyone, if you can't tell, I really love these play sets and I really hope they come out with more. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.